What is good y'all? Welcome to my first YouTube video. The funny thing is I was supposed to actually post this last week, but I had like so much problems with the camera, so I just deleted it. It's a week, so let's hit it. All right, so here's a quick rundown of all the stuff I use in my vids. For my ring light, I use this ruby size ring light. It's like 30 bucks on, 35 bucks on Amazon. It's pretty cheap and worth it. The phone I use to make my vids is the iPhone 12. People always ask me when I go on live. And yeah, those are like the main stuff you need. Also LED lights. There's like one, I have two sets. There's one set that's right here. And then over here, we have another set because they weren't big enough. Soon I might get other ones, but yeah. Basically the three only things you really need for transitions. The next day. All right, we are now warping into the next day. This is my little backyard where I sat. It's pretty nice to be honest. It's like 80 degrees here in Florida almost every day. It's pretty nice. Now what I'm gonna do, I got my phone right here and we're gonna answer some of y'all's questions y'all got for transitions. Cause I literally check my, I check my full thing. I have like over 200, almost 200 Q and A. So let's hit it. The first question is coming from M Strelly. He asks, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is actually red even though I barely show it in my vids because it doesn't look really look good on anything. Shirts, it doesn't look the best on. Lights, it only looks good in the dark, but I make my vids in the day, so. All right, Tyler is not okay asked, how are you so good? It's just practice pretty much, literally all it is. I practice almost every day. I used to practice every day, but then school got really busy, so I can't really do that anymore. But yeah, practice, practice, practice. That's all I say. All right, now we have K Daklin, no, Kaka Dylan. He asked, how long do your transitions take? I would say my transitions take like around two to three hours. Depends like what transitions I do, to be honest. If I'm doing like easy transitions, then the max it would take is like one hour, maybe two hours. But they average like two to three hours. So I do like a bunch of complex transitions in my vids. They're not easy, trust me. Like one of the transitions, I think it was like the one where I like flip my head or whatever, that literally took an hour for one transition. So it gets kind of hard to be honest. All right, we're not going outside, going for a walk or stuff. Here's like a little clip of my garage. Can't show much cause it's really messy. So I know this ain't your typical David Dobrik style vlog of them freaking, I don't even know what they do. They do like a bunch of crazy stuff to be honest. I literally just started watching them. Same with Danny Duncan. I love Danny Duncan. David Dobrik and Danny Duncan. They're like one of my favorite vloggers to be honest. Also, I want to say thank you so much for the support. Like y'all are actually insane. Cause I remember literally like two weeks ago, I was at like 114K. Then that one viral vid, I think it was the Sugar Crash vid. It got like freaking 4 million views. And now I'm out almost 200K. I think by the time I'm recording this, I'm at like 190K. But I bet by the time I post this, I'll be almost at 200k. So, thank you so much for the port. Y'all are like literally crazy. Well, I was thinking of doing on TikTok. I was thinking of doing more vids and less tutorials. Because I have more fun with vids, to be honest. But tutorials, they do help, kind of. Because, like, if I'm really busy, all I gotta do is just spend like 10 minutes on the tutorial and there, like 10k likes. But I do like to make vids, though. Like, I do like to make vids. And I want them to get more recognition. So, I was also thinking we gotta bring the collabs back, like the transition collabs. I don't wanna do like a full on transition group because I ain't got the time to make that stuff but like the little collabs i think i was gonna make one fun fact when i hit like 10k i have one i think i have like some of the parts are done but like i just like i just got unmotivated because like there's like this one person that never did their part how many if you want to see that down because i still have that. i could probably post it on tiktok or something but yeah and i was thinking to switch my format to every other day because i think it it basically helps me because like i got SATs coming up in like may or something i gotta study for that i'm taking a prep course soon and yeah i really want to do good on those I'm getting a good college and school transitions take the i'm still gonna be doing them like a lot but like i'm gonna just switch to like every other day because it helps me more and I, I was thinking of like not post on the weekends or post like one of it on the weekends because to be honest on the weekends I don't really get motivated to make vids. I don't know why but like I literally get so unmotivated on the weekends It's not even funny one day I literally sat down for like two hours trying to find songs trying to get motivated to make a vid Then I realized there's no point so I just didn't make a vid that day So I think on the weekends I'll probably just do transition tutorials and stuff I literally had to turn off the camera for like five minutes because this one crow would not stop yelling It was so annoying he just left over there but like literally this one crow will not stop freaking i don't even know what noise they make but it got so annoying so i had to literally turn off the camera wait i tried to chase him away but he didn't go away so he finally just went away right when i started recording this is my playground over here in the neighborhood when we first moved here i used to go here literally all the time but we just got bored because it's literally the same thing but might go can i open the door I'm gonna go sit down, hang out for, for a bit. My first vlogging experience, this honestly feels kind of weird because I was literally walking around the neighborhood. There's literally people staring at me. Like I've gotten so much stares. I just realized like, there's literally no point. I'm just chilling, walking around this thing. I don't know how much time I got left. I have like an hour before I had to go back. 
It's like Tuesday, there's nothing to do. All my friends are in school and it's literally just me. This is literally the worst spot to be in because the highway is literally right there. There's trucks moving back left and right. I can't hear anything. Right when I start talking, there's a truck that's zooming by and y'all can hear it in the back. I'm sorry like if there's a little noise in the background, I'm gonna start moving back now because it's getting kind of noisy. I'm also start posting out a lot more on Instagram soon. I know I like barely post on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. It's my literally my TikTok name. I'll put it like right here on screen if I can. But it's literally tf.dans. Go follow the Insta. I'm gonna post a lot of stuff on there soon. I'm gonna start posting there more. Maybe some behind the scenes of the vlogs and stuff and transitions. So stay tuned for that. I just realized I got the shock of that. This is gonna be a nightmare to edit because I have like 30 clips. I gotta send to my phone, then I gotta upload it to my computer. I gotta edit all that on Premiere Pro or whatever. That's what I'm gonna edit this on. Cause I think Premiere Pro is the best. I would use Video Leap. That's what I do to like edit some of my vids. Like if I'm doing, if I'm doing like a transition tutorial or whatever, I edit on Video Leap. So the people who think that transitions are really easy and they can do it, all the haters, they're not easy. They take like three to two to three hours to make and they're kind of a pain sometimes, but at the end they're really fun. So I recommend doing them. Also, you never know, you might get a viral vid like me one day. Might be famous as me when you do transitions. I would never thought that I'd be sitting here today with 200, almost 200K on TikTok. Like y'all are actually insane. Y'all are crazy. I love y'all so much. A little sign out. It was literally like almost, it feels like 80 degrees, almost 90 degrees. Like it's insane how hot it is right now. I know like some parts in like New Jersey and New York, they're like snowing right now. It's crazy. Cause like literally, I remember like last week there was a full on snowstorm. Everyone got hit with like some inches of snow. And then I was literally just sitting here with like, it's like 80 to two degrees weather outside, palm trees everywhere. We're in shorts. Here's the fit, I don't know if you saw that or not. But we're in shorts and just chilling. That's why I like Florida to be honest. Cause the weather is pretty much almost the same thing every day. Besides like January, January, December, like the worst days because it gets like 60 degrees, but that's it. I think I've had to wear like a hoodie, like I want to say like five times, like literally a handful of times. I've had to like actually dress up for like the weather or whatever, but most of the times I literally wear almost the exact same outfit. So that's why I wear only short sleeves in my vids because some people probably think I'm crazy or whatever, but now it's literally just the weather. There's literally kids in my school that will show up in hoodies and pants in like 82 degrees. I don't know how they do that. Like, do you not like sweat or something? Cause I would literally die if I was wearing a hoodie and pants in like 82 degrees weather. That, Cause that, that's too much. I understand like pants. I would like technically wear pants, but like a hoodie and pants just enough for the winter. And it's like 82 degrees outside. Like, I don't know how they do it. I can barely last in like this or whatever. I sweat pretty easily. And like, I can barely last, I'll die. Like I remember I used to sit at lunch like outside or whatever. And I was like dying, it was so hot. And then there's kids out here with like short sleeves and pants saying it's like cold or whatever. It's like 82 degrees. The funny thing is, is like when it gets like cold, when it gets like 60 degrees or whatever, I would literally see people dress up in like full on jackets. Like it's like negative something degrees. Cause I remember like I used to live in New Jersey or whatever and people would dress up like that cold when it was like 20 degrees. That's what it feels like. They're acting like it's 20 degrees, even though 60 degrees is like basically nothing. It's like short sleeves, pants, maybe a hoodie. But yeah, I think it's kind of funny to be honest because like most of them aren't really used to the cold. But I feel like I'm laughing now, but that's going to be me in like five years because I'm going to be so used to the hot or whatever. And then when it gets cold, I'm going to be like freezing. So I should not be laughing, but I think it's really funny to be honest. A few moments later. Anyways, before I go, I think I said it like multiple times, but thank you so much for the support recently. Y'all are actually insane. Like I never, I would never think because literally this whole like 2021 has actually been crazy because the start of 2021 in January, I was at like 50K. And then literally a month later, I was at 100K. And now we're in March and we're almost at 200K. So that is insane. 100K in almost two months. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. So yeah, I think that's gonna do for the vlog, guys. I gotta go edit this. This is gonna be a nightmare to edit. And yeah, peace out. Have a good day.